All right, guys. Finally got some books I can show. I'm going to still try to keep doing these videos on Mondays. Well, Sunday slash Monday. I think I put my uh, other one out a week early or a day early. <laughs> but uh, definitely uh, going to try to keep uh, my Monday schedule up. But if it's not, uh, keep an eye out on the uh, later in the week. I'm going to try to at least do one a week. But I got a nice little stack here. Books that were on sale. But before we get to that, we got to get to our two from the tomb. So I was thinking about love and hate as I was looking at my bookshelf this past week. As I'm trying to organize all my uh, trade paperbacks and graphic novels and whatever you want to call them. And looking at my Batman section and I just looked at it and these books are fairly close to each other on the shelf. Uh, but I literally bought them back in 1989, 90, back to back. <laughs> uh, let's get to show you right now. So, of course they're bath books, like I just said. But this is my uh, original Arkham Asylum uh, hardback. Ended up getting this uh, after uh, one of my good report cards. <laughs> very <laughs> and it's not bragging you know it's just uh, that's what it was but uh but my dad uh, ended up getting giving me a gift certificate for one of my favorite shops back in the day so i ended up buying this and of course these were all shrink wrapped so you couldn't really literally open them up or anything like that but when i opened it up it was just like it blew me away <laughs> of the art inside here let's show a little bit here I love the story. A lot of people don't frown on the story a little bit, but I back in 1989, I guess it was. I mean, this this was the stuff. And I haven't really looked at this since probably about 2011, when my wife bought me the. I think it's like the 15th anniversary or something. They like could trade paperback of it, and that really just kickstarted me on. Uh, just buying up uh, more books at the time. <laughs> so I was pretty slow at the time. I wasn't buying too many, uh, too much stuff at the time. I was reading, going to the grocery store, I'd be just reading stuff off the rack. <laughs> I was pirating, I guess, if, if you want to call it that. <laughs> but just, I remember just back in the day, just seeing like this panel right here, man. This is like, just some stunning work from yeah, Dave McKean. I mean, it just it just blew me away just seeing this stuff here, and so I just fell in love with this book. It's just brutal. It's you know, probably maybe something I shouldn't have been reading when I was how old I would have been 14, 13, 14 years old at that time. I just always thought it was like I'll skip a couple of pages ahead here. You got the uh, Norman Bates. <laughs> but yeah, I highly recommend this if you've never read it before. Uh, you can probably find it at discount bookstores and stuff like that. Um, it's it's probably something you should own. And I think you'll get a, if you don't like the story itself, I think you'll enjoy it just for the artwork. But that brings me to the thing I absolutely hate. <laughs> I just keep it part of my collection just because it's a reminder for me to make sure I buy stuff that I like. Uh, again, this was another issue that was all shrink-wrapped. So I couldn't see inside of it. And the art in this book, if you want to call it that, um, was just a real huge turn-off. And I don't like being negative. This is not one of those channels that, you know, I'm not farming for, uh, you know, <laughs> negativity all the time, you yeah. know. Or everything sucks, you know. <laughs> but it just like it, the artwork turned me off so bad on this. Uh, it's, I don't think I think I read through this. I had a power read through it, and you know, at that age, it's like, oh god. But I just did not like this at all. I mean, it, it was so distracting. It could be the greatest story ever told, and the art just like 
looks like you know batman versus uh, max headroom you know i'm showing my age right now but you know <laughs> but if i just i could not get over the artwork in this book i'll show you the joker it's sort of i guess if you want to call anything cool in this book let me see if i can find it real quick it's towards the end it's like a virus you know <laughs> There's Robin on his skateboard, you know, <laughs> airboard. But, uh, let's see. Yeah, I can't even find it. I could... It just was just horrible, man. It just, like, I, I get it. It was like computer graphics at the time and stuff like that. Like, there's the part of the Joker right there you can see. Yeah, I do not like this book one bit, so let's get on to some more positive stuff. Before I get to my haul, I want to shout out uh, Big Elbow. He has a new grandkid, and he was uh, showing some uh, books he bought for his uh, grandkid there. And I figured I'd just show, uh, I was talking about, I'd like to comment on his uh his comment section on his video and I bought this uh, book for my well my wife bought this book for my son yeah it's, it's got a little wear and tear to it but we try to keep it nice <laughs> but it's the uh, instead of good night moon it's good night uh, back cave it's a uh, you know literally a 100% a parody of it so it's pretty cool <laughs> those that have uh, kids in the uh, <laughs> audience I uh, know pretty well if you have kids like from but yeah I'm, uh, I thought this was cool of a book to have here nice little reminder it's the only one that's survived so far my son just destroys everything all right now it's time to get to the hole so I don't think I spent over more than five dollars for any of these books, uh, and I got them all for what was the sale? I think it was some odd number, like twenty-five percent off or something. Yeah, was like, I think it was twenty-five or no, it was like twenty-three percent. That's what it was. <laughs> twenty-five percent is not that odd, but uh, ended up picking up pit issue number nine. I've been trying to. Uh, piece together Pit and uh, the Max from Image Comics um, just because I really enjoy these stories and I enjoy the artwork on it. Uh, we can take a little peek in here while we're at it. Shout out to Jot Tape. But yeah, Dale Keown's artwork in this man is just like it's freaking brutal man. <laughs> As I'm, I don't have, I have, I think I have like six issues of Pit right now. So I'm just slowly but surely uh, picking them away. But they're getting harder and harder to find. And, uh, even, and even in the back issue stuff, I mean, I think a lot of people are having that nostalgia for it and, I never read it when it first came out, so it's new to me. Of course, I've hit, been hitting up all the Spawn books. Upgraded my issue number five. Of course, uh, the infamous issue, Billy Kincaid. I hate this issue. Because <laughs> I'm not a fan of any of that uh, you know, stuff happening to kids or anything like that. That's not... just makes me... Not that anybody is a fan, but you know what I mean. Just I don't like reading that kind of stuff. But yeah, you see Todd McFarlane, man. So if you've never read this, and if you want to be like freaked out, this is a 
one of those issues. I don't want to give anything away. I'm trying to see what I can find here. Yeah, look at the centerfold. Look at that. <laughs> but yeah, I finally got an upgrade. My my other my other copy was a straight beater copy. Uh, if anybody really needs it or can't find it, but you should be able to find these like dollar bins, I think. Well, maybe not in the dollar bins anymore, but under five bucks. Uh, I did, I got an extra copy that I'm gonna be getting rid of, so let me know. Of course, I needed a uh, issue fifty four. So with this issue, I think I got issues 1 through 60 straight now. And then I'm, if you're first time watching my channel, uh, I'm trying to get spawn issues 1 through 100. Uh, stuff with all the great Capullo uh, uh, cover artwork and, uh, and layouts and all that in, inside the book with McFarlane also, so... Pretty much got all the, I think all the McFarlane ones that I needed, but um, still working on uh, issues like 60 to 100. And with that, ended up getting issue 70. Just something about these early spawn books, and it's it just like. They're just sitting, this is so awesome. I mean, but they're like, uh, like with Pit and Max and all that, and even Savage Dragon now to a point. Uh, they're just becoming. I used to find these in dollar bins all the time, now I can't find anything. <laughs> I can sure find them in the, yeah, the 15 to 20 dollar bins now, but again, I'm not paying uh, that much money. <laughs> Uh, the last Spawn book that I picked up was issue 283, and I think I picked this up for 25% off cover price, so that's the only reason I bought it. Really had no interest in uh, buying anything that's not from, like, issue, like, 300 up, and anything from under issue 100 below. I mean, if I do find some of the uh, homage covers or Gunslinger, I'll definitely buy them, but I'm not going out of my way to try to put pieces run together. We can take a look inside and see what the artwork looks like in that. Yeah, so that's like... Yeah, I'm a huge fan of the McFarlane Capullo art. Not too much of a fan of the... I don't know what to kind of call it, but it's like... Uh, just not a huge fan of that art style or that artwork. Uh, not, not that it's bad or anything. I like guess just not my... Uh, when I think of Spawn, I think of, of course, those two guys. and That's that's pretty uh, tough competition to beat. Picked up uh, Aquaman number one from the New 52. Missed out on this series. I uh, should have picked it up when I uh, saw Jeff Johns was writing it. But by the time I got to it, uh, it was already on issue like seven or eight or something like that. And I just didn't feel like buying them all back. Instead of, you know, paying three bucks for them at the back of the day, I decided to pay five bucks today. You know, so I ended up getting this for five dollars minus 25 percent off. So that's that. It's like a dollar and a quarter or something. You know? But uh I, I got the second issue, so I figured I was going to pick this issue up, too. So I got the first two issues of Aquaman. Uh, but I'm going to be going through my new 52 collection pretty soon here. and Just getting stuff out of it. Um, there's just some things I'm just probably going to never, ever read again. And uh, I need the room. <laughs> can't keep buying this many books and then uh you know not get rid of anything it's just not going to happen so that's going to be one of my uh goals for this year is to uh going to be selling some books i'm going to try like a flea market i think i talked about it before i'm going to have like a price point of like one five dollars and ten dollars and that's all i'm going to do 
uh, anything that's more valuable than that, I'm probably not going to sell. But, uh, yeah, I think I can get get a huge chunk of my uh, books that I'm never going to read again or just don't want in my collection. Uh, but it's hard when you buy books because I buy stuff that I like, you know, so it's, it's pretty tough. But uh, we'll see. There's some new 52 stuff I want to get rid of. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna sell like some stuff, and I'm gonna yeah do a couple more. I'm gonna do you know a couple more AOKs this year to a couple of people. So I always enjoy uh if something I have something that I'm getting rid of, just giving it to somebody that needs it. You know, because I'd rather stuff go to other collectors. Next up is Werewolf by Night. Werewolf battles vampires. That's all you need to know, buddy. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a huge fan of Werewolf by Night. Uh, probably never gonna get the uh, the full run with first prints, but I do got facsimile for the 32, so that's good enough for me. But yeah, I love that, and I also love uh, some Tomb of Dracula. I'm, I think I'm getting close to 30 books of Tomb of Dracula too. And again, issue number 10, it's gonna be way out of my price range. You never know. You might stumble on something. Got issue six. Got issue eight. You know, anything with zombies coming out, man, that's just an automatic buy for me. <laughs> just like this one. Issue sixty-eight. And I love this. I love this cover right here. Cross of fire. Cross of fear. <laughs> So that's my uh, books for this week. Uh, I should have another haul coming next Monday, so definitely keep an eye out for that. I'm guaranteed it'll be next Monday. <laughs> uh, but uh, check out the links down below. Check out my Instagram. Check out all that fun stuff. Um, a lot of good uh, content coming out lately from a lot of good channels. So check out those. I'll leave the links down to those channels down below. Check out their uh, content. I mean, it's been a uh, Guys have been uh, getting some great finds and stuff like that, so keep up the good work. Alright, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you next time.